Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. Today I'm working on a project for someone else. Some friends of mine bought some land out in Colorado, and uh, they're interested in metal detecting out there. And they came across this very antique metal detector, and they don't know if it works. So I'm going to take a look at it, uh, maybe open it up, see if there's anything that I can do to clean it up or get it running, and um, yeah, see if we can find some metal. So looks like this just takes some regular AA batteries. Actually kind of a lot of AA batteries and the uh, little battery packs are a little broken here so might have to do something with that. Alright, we've got the battery holder plastic welded together. Put some braces on there so hopefully it won't pop apart. This plastic is pretty old. Let's fire it up and see what it does. It's got this little adjustment or tuner thing. It appears that my vise is in fact made of metal. So it definitely makes some noise, but this meter never really moves. I'm wondering if this battery check switch is stuck. It's supposed to have a knob on it, but the knob is broken off, so I might try to move that with some pliers and see what it does. Alright, so we got some steel. And some copper and some aluminum and I, I guess it's working I can't really tell the difference between these it's basically just telling me yes metal or no metal there doesn't seem to be a sound difference or an intensity difference between these different types of metal all right so I dug out a user manual for this thing and um, it's pretty amusing it's actually uh, the contents that it originally shipped with included a mineral sample and a bottle cap. So every time you bought one of these new, somebody at the factory would probably drink a beer and send you the bottle cap along with it. So to tune this, uh, you're supposed to decide between mineral, which means iron, or metal, which means gold, copper, whatever else. So it's basically ferrous and non-ferrous. So you turn it uh, for iron, you turn it towards the mineral direction, until it stops buzzing and then you just turn it barely back until it's just barely buzzing now supposedly this will be calibrated for iron or ferrous things and will ignore non-ferrous things so we'll try our railroad spike that works we'll try our copper hmm. that works too so not quite calibrated correctly all right, I've tried turning the tuning dial in the metal direction, so counterclockwise until it just stops buzzing. So theoretically now it will detect non-ferrous metals like copper and gold and will not detect iron as easily. So we're picking up our copper. And it's doing nothing with the iron, so that is correct. There's probably just too much metal in this garage to uh, calibrate the iron side of it. And there's stoves and parts and pieces everywhere. Um, but it seems like calibrating it onto the non-ferrous or metal setting is working pretty well. It's not picking up this. And it is picking up the copper. If you put it right on the stove, it does pick it up. All right, so this seems to work, but let's see if we can replace this missing knob. I think I've got some more old 50s tech around here somewhere. Um, yeah, down here. Got this old centrifuge that doesn't work, and that looks like about the same kind of knob. All right, so now we can check those two battery packs. Looks like the 9 volt pack is a little low, the 12 is fine. So we just need like a thousand more double A's. Alright, I'm going to say this thing is done. Uh, seems to be mostly working. Uh, it's currently snowing outside, so I'm not going to take it outside and test it, but it seems like it can detect copper and uh, detect iron, and yeah, it'll probably detect other things, but um, I'll give it back to my friends, let them take it out to Colorado and see if they can find their gold mine. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.